Hello and welcome to this video in our Windows Monitoring series. In this video we're going to cover NCPA. What is NCPA? Well, it stands for the Nagios Cross-Platform Agent. Why would you use this agent? Well, the cross-platform bit is actually super handy. So this is an agent that will work well on a Windows environment, it work well in Linux, and it will install on Mac OS X. So it's great, it's super flexible, you only need to learn one agent and you can use it all over your environment. Other benefits to NCPA, it's secure out of the box, it runs only in HTTPS, um, and you can run both active and passive checks with it, and finally you can run custom plugins through it. With those things in mind, let's jump into the interface and we'll show you how to download and install it and also how to run the wizard. Here it comes. Okay, for this video, we're going to start out on the Nagios Exchange site. That is worthy of a whole video in itself, but there are tons of resources here. So in the search box in the upper right, we can type in NCPA and search, and it's going to be our first result. And here's the download URL. We're going to go to Downloads, and we're going to grab the Windows version, and we're going to save that in here. I'll click. I'll take care of this. And we get right into the installer. We're going to hit next. We're going to agree to the terms. You're welcome to spend as long as you need with those terms. This is open source, by the way, the Nagios cross-platform agent. And here, the most important thing that we're going to decide on is going to be the token. And the token you can just imagine it's a password, so, um, you know, we could use awesome. As a token, you can choose appropriately as you like from there. We can hit next. In this step, you could set up passive checks. That's an advanced topic. We can address that later. Um, and it's going to ask to install it in that particular drive. And it is going to take care of it. So that's as simple as it needs to be, pretty simple. It's now installed on the machine, and now we're gonna jump into the Nagios XI interface and run through the configuration wizard. All right, so we're in the interface. Now, before we get into the wizard, I do wanna mention that the Windows installer for NCPA at this point does not open the Windows firewall port that you'll need to open in order to make your connection. So that port is 5693, as we'll see here in a moment, right here, port 5693. So um, open that, put in the IP address of the thing you're looking to monitor. We will put in our token and Nagios XI will reach out to the box and it will do discovery. So one thing that it is different from in S Client++, which we talked about in a different video, is that it will do discovery. So for example, with disk metrics, um, this particular machine has a C drive and a D drive. If we were running NS Client++, it would, you know, it would default to show you C, but it wouldn't do any additional discovery. So that's one nice thing about NCPA. Um, additionally, it will discover your network interfaces and it will uh, also do discovery on services. So you click there and you can browse through your services and you can add services here and down here. It doesn't discover your running processes, but you are able to add them. So um, that is NCPA for most of the configuration. The cool thing is that it will be the same, the same wizard across all of your platforms. That's the great thing about NCPA being the Nagios cross-platform agent is that you can use it all over your environment and um, you don't have to learn different agents as you go. So here we can just take a look. Here's the thing that we just monitored. CPU, C and D drives, uh, local area connections, memory usage, swap usage, and the service we monitored. That's it for NCPA. Stay tuned. We'll have more videos coming your way. 